There are no soggy bottoms here. Welcome to Watch Mojo UK, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 incredible Great British Bake Off creations. Well, it definitely looks like a Dalek as we know. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we're looking at all the most impressive and memorable delights from this marvellous cooking competition show. Number 10. Nancy's Summer Pudding Alaska This episode of the fifth series of GBBO contains perhaps the most dramatic moment in the show's history, known affectionately as Bin Gate, where Ian's dessert was accidentally left out on a very hot day and he dramatically tossed it in the bin. Ian, 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 you have to present you have... Look at it, you can't present it. In the same challenge though, the eventual winner of the series, Nancy, produced a lovely summer pudding Alaska amid all the chaos. It was visually stunning and looked like the perfect thing to eat on a hot summer day, with lovely peaks and a garnish of fresh fruit. It's a lovely summer fruit. Flavor. Number 9. Louis George vs. the Dragon Also in Series 5, Louis Troiano was eventually one of the season's runner-ups, but in the second episode of the show, he made an incredibly impressive creation. For the show stop around, where contestants were charged with making a 3D structure using biscuits, Louis concocted a piece entitled George vs. the Dragon which depicted a scene featuring not just a dragon, but several other animals. Louis may not have won Star Baker that week, with the honour going instead to Richard, but this was still one of the judges' favourites. The heat coming from the dragon is beautiful. Number 8. France's Rainbow Picnic Pie In 2013, Francis Quinn won the fourth series of Bake Off, and one of the contributing factors was the bake that she did in the final episode. While many of France's creations were amazing, our favourite had to be her final signature bake, the rainbow picnic pie. There's going to be so much going on in there. <laughs> While we're mostly used to seeing sweets on GBBO, contestants have to be able to master savoury bakes as well, which is what they were charged with for this picnic pie challenge. Frances crafted a baked picnic basket loaf that housed a delicious roasted vegetable and cheese filling, and the judges, well, ate it up. Oh my lord, that's amazing. Very, very neat layers. Number 7. Becker's Cheesecake Near the end of Series 4, the bakers were charged with one of the most difficult challenges to date, making a dairy-free cake made with vegetables instead. It's got to be dairy-free. No butter, no cheese, no milk, inside or out, none of that. Becca took a tongue-in-cheek approach to the assignment and created a spiced butternut squash and pecan cheesecake, which she crafted to look like a cutting board with a wheel of cheese and several mice atop it. Ruby beat her for Star Baker, but there was no question that this was the most impressive bake of the week at least as far as visuals go. There's just no flavour. It's like an aftertaste sometimes of ginger. Number 6. Paul's Bread Lion For the Bread Showstopper Challenge in Series 6, the contestants had to make a 3D sculpture using three types of dough, including one that was filled. You say you're going to do a lion, it's got to look like a lion and not uh, like a dog or something like that. Not only that, but they only had five hours to pull it off. Paul came through with a King of the Jungle creation that wowed the judges and audience alike. Though Judge Paul Hollywood gave contestant Paul extremely high praise, even saying that he never would have attempted something of this complexity, Paul somehow didn't manage to take home the title of Star Baker that week. He did, however, get a special commendation for the bake. I wouldn't have attempted anything like that. That is exceptional. Number 5. Candice's Gingerbread Pub Candice Brown took home the top prize at the end of the seventh series of Bake Off, 
but in the second episode, she made it clear early on that she was one to watch. You're being very ambitious again. For the showstopper on Biscuits Week, the bakers had just four hours to create an original gingerbread scene, featuring at least eight characters or objects. Candice ran with the idea and made a full pub made of gingerbread and biscuits, which even included a sticky ginger carpet, just like a real pub would have. The creation helped her win Star Baker for the week. Great ginger cake, that one, actually. It's Great. Very, very good. Number four, Stephen's A Baker's Lunch Cake. The eighth series of Bake Off was the first to air on Channel 4 after a move from the BBC and audiences were nervous about what the show would look like on a new network. But there were, of course, plenty of impressive challenges to behold, including Stephen's A Baker's Lunch Cake, which appeared in the very first episode and won him Star Baker. The challenge was to make an illusion cake, and Stephen's was an undeniable success. He craftily crafted his cake to look like a loaf of sandwich bread, along with a fully constructed sandwich. It's perfect. The hazelnut, the peanut, the frosting, the layers are equally outside, the color, texture, it's all there. Number three, Yan's Banana Ramen Cake. Chun Yan So, known as Yan on the show, also produced an illusion cake in the first episode of series eight. And while she may not have been given the accolade of Star Baker, we actually think her creation ranks higher than Steven's. Juice balls. Science. She created a cake constructed to look like a bowl of ramen noodles, complete with boiled egg, vegetables, and even chopsticks. She gave it the clever name of Banana Ramen Cake, and it definitely fit the bill amazingly mimicking the appearance of the iconic savoury noodle dish. The cakes are slightly too dry. It's unfortunate, Ooh. but that design is incredible. Number two, Nadia's Fizzy Pop Cheesecakes. Nadia Hussein is perhaps the most beloved Bake Off contestant of all time, so it's no surprise that one of her bakes ranks high on our list. Clever. Very, very clever. In fact, the biggest challenge was picking just one. While the desserts episode challenge wasn't to make an illusion cake, Nadia made one anyway. She was charged with making a tiered cheesecake, but upped the ante and added a floating fizzy meringue pop can for added visual zing to her trio of cakes. Yeah, she takes that cream soda. It's no wonder that she won her season, became a BBC foodie star, and was even asked to bake a cake for the Queen's 90th birthday. That's ingenious. Well done. Well done. Thank you, Nadia. Number one, Christine's Bavarian Clock Tower. In the fifth episode of series four, the bakers were asked to make a biscuit tower for the showstopper round. The instructions weren't overly specific, letting the bakers get creative, with the only constraint being that it had to be at least 30 centimeters high. I achieved what I wanted to do. Christine opted to put a spin on the traditional concept of a holiday gingerbread house, and used shortbread instead of gingerbread to create a stunning Bavarian town clock tower. It was topped with snow and circled with precious little evergreen trees, making for a full-on magical winter wonderland scene. All the flavors are all good. The texture's good, the bait's good, the look of them's good. Excellent. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Watch Mojo UK and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.